Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to use AutoML in Power BI. In short, AutoML, short for Automated Machine Learning, refers to the process of automating various stages of machine learning. If you want to learn more, please watch our video. You will find the link in the description box. Now let me switch to the computer for the table. Let me show you my data table first. So this is my data table. As you can see, region, country, customer, business segment, and so on. And here you can see total sales. So I want to predict total sales. OK, now let me minimize this. And I will go to the Power BI service. First, I will create a data flow. So let me go to the Power BI service. So here I am on Power BI service. And you have to choose any workspace. And from your once you will choose the workspace, you will see this new button. You have to click on the button new button. And from here you have to. Select data flow. And here I will click on add new table, define new tables. Click on the button add new tables. And here I will click Excel workbook. And I will browse my OneDrive. And from here I will choose sample data. And I will click next. It is loading all the tables. So from here I will select sales data. So here you can see my data set. And from here I will click transform data. And again, data set is loading here. Now data set is loaded. And I will click on save and close. And my data flow name is. Sample. ML. Data. Look. OK. And save. So I will close from here. And in data flow, sales data table, you can see here one icon. So apply ML model. So just click on this. And here you can see add a machine learning model. So let me click on this. So from here you can choose your data table. So as I have only one data table, sales data. And from here you can select your column. So I want to predict total sales. So I will select column total sales. And I will click next. So auto ML selected model for this data regression model. So you can see the estimated numeric value. So I'll select this and I will click next. So here you can see all the fields from your data table. So region I will ignore country. I will select. Customer I will ignore business segment. I will select category model color sales date. I will ignore list price. I, I will ignore unit price. I will ignore order quantity. I will keep commission. I will remove. So now I will click on. Next. Here you have to give model name. So I say I will say sales. ML OK, you can type your description. Here is your model. Training time, so I will. Say five minutes. So from here now button save and train. So in the data flow which we have created sales data table here you can see two more data set is added added sales ML training data sales ML testing data and here you can see tab machine learning model. You have to click on the tab. 
and from here you have to click apply ml model okay so i will apply ml model on my original data that is a cells data and the new output column will be cells ml and from here i will say save and apply so it is saving the model the now model is saved actually and now it is refreshing so now refresh also completed and you can see here two more data set is added cells data in rich cells ml and this is the explanation so now after that i will go to the power bi and in power bi i will go to get data from the get data i will click on the data flow in data flow i will choose the workspace where i have created the data flow and from my data flow i will select cells ml training data testing data sorry and after that i will click transform data so let me zoom in so here you can see explanation here you can see the prediction of cells i will say rename cells cells forecast column name so now i will say apply and close So now from visualization, I will select new data card. And from here, I will bring total cells actual column. So as you can see, 15.98 millions. Now what is my cells forecast? I will change the data type as a decimal number first. And now I will bring the column here sum of sales forecast so as you can see the total sales is 15.98 and sales forecast is 15.99 so 0.1 million difference that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel and like and share thank you for watching you can also support me by clicking a thanks button